okay, so you finally bought your land and now you want to put a tiny home on it. So what options do you have? So today I'm going to share with you three options that I looked into and why I decided to choose the one I decided to go with. So you want to build a tiny home and there are so many options to choose out there. Like, how do, where do you even start? Well, I narrowed it down to three options that I looked into when I was looking for a tiny place or a tiny home uh, to put onto my land. The first option that I looked into is from a company called Den Outdoors. Now this company is based out here in New York and they provide a lot of different options in terms of uh, building plans in case you want to build something uh, with a contractor or with yourself too. Um, they have really appealing designs. It's one of the first companies that I looked into and also uh, this is the company that really inspired me to build the cabin that I'm going to use. Matter of fact, I've decided to go with one of their plans for my main cabin. Going back to the tiny home though, they do offer a cabin kit. And what this is, it's a very cute, uh, I think very beautiful, uh, tiny home, tiny A-frame. And uh, they send it to you as a kit. That means they're gonna pre-assemble all the parts, uh, pre-cut everything for you, all the nuts and bolts, everything you pretty much need to build this yourself. It's really cute, it's really beautiful. It's an A-frame. Uh, it's easy to build. It's about 9 by 12, so about 112 square feet. And it costs about $27,000. And option number two is a company called Drop Pods. This company is very interesting because they create basically the whole structure. It's literally shipped it to you on a truck and then use a crane to lift it up and put it onto where you want it to go. They have a lot of creative designs and also has a lot of options from very small, simple studios to ones that are more elaborate with a little loft bedroom, bathroom, shower, uh, you name it. The one that's comparative to the one from Den Outdoors, it's one I would recommend called the Mono Mini. The Mono Mini is about 9 by 16, uh, so about 144 square feet. They have options of very high quality materials, including cedar, which is a good wood to use for the interior and exterior too, uh, metal framing on the outside, and LVP floors. It also has a very good insulation value of R24. Some of these can go up to $80,000 or more if you want to add a bathroom, a sink, a kitchen, things like that. It's very customizable. Uh, but for the sake of our comparison today, something that's very simple that you can turn into a tiny home, uh, the one we're looking at is about $28,000. And last but not least, the option that we went with to buy a pre-made shed and turn that into a tiny home. Now, at first, when you think about sheds, you think of like very like rundown metal, very simple structures that you have in your backyard to put your garden tools in. But actually, sheds nowadays can also come in very unique form factors that actually resemble a tiny home. The one I bought is from a company called Backyard Outfitter, and I'll use the one that I personally got as an example. It is 10 by 16. Uh, it comes bare bones. There's nothing really inside, but it will cost you about $5,500, which is significantly less than the other options out there. Uh, you can have them already pre-made and basically delivered to you within a week if you have a local supplier, or you can customize it to any kind of color uh, specifications you need. You can choose from uh, different siding materials, uh, different root materials, different flooring materials. You can have it uh, spray foam, so you can have a good insulation already out of the box, but to make it look pretty and nice for something that's comparable to the one from Den Outdoors or Drop Pods, you still gotta put in a lot, a little bit of work. You can either have somebody do it for you, or like me and Sarah, we decided to do it ourselves to save money. So some things that we did was we got, uh, we installed insulation ourselves, uh, we added um, knotty wood shiplap pine for the walls and all the in inside of the interiors, and we're gonna go with some luxury vinyl flooring for our floors. Well, since I'm not really good with electrical work, I hired an electrician to put in all the outlets and do all the wiring for me. The total is about $8,500 for a pretty much fully finished tiny home. The main benefits that we really appreciate going this route is, aside from the economical benefits, is that it really gave us an opportunity to do things ourselves and experience and learn how it is to build a home. So when we're ready to build our bigger cabin, we'll be much more knowledgeable. And that it also creates a lot of great memories. Uh, we had a lot of fun trying to figure things out. And there's some very, there's just really good satisfaction to know that you're able to put your love, sweat, and tears into your project uh, that you can't get by just putting a lot of money down for a structure that's already done for you. 
but it's less convenient. You do have to spend a little bit more time into it. But at the end, I think it's the most rewarding of the three options. All right, so let's recap our three options I shared with you today. The first one is from Den Outdoors. It is a nine by 12, so about 115 square feet. Uh, it is $27,000. You do have to put it together yourself, but it's very cute and attractive and really popular right now. Option number two is from Drop Pods. The model I'm referencing is the Model Mini, and that's a nine by 16, so about 144 square feet, and it starts at $28,000. This one, it's already done, pre-done for you. Uh, everything's ready to go. And the last one is to buy the shed and do it yourself, like we did. Uh, this one from Backyard Outfitters, a 10 by 16, so about 160 square feet, with the lofted space, uh, is about, about 5575 For us, we added insulation, we added pine for the walls and ceilings, added floors, and we needed help with the electrician. The total came out to about $8,500. All right, those are the three tiny home options. And there's a lot of options out there, and none of them are really bad. It's just a matter of finding the one that fits you. For us, we really like the third option, and it's because it was most economical and the most fun. If you find this video helpful, please do like and subscribe, and please do leave a comment whether it's something that you enjoyed about this video, or if you have any questions that I can help you answer. Also, please follow us on my Instagram account, where you can see us pretty much daily doing stuff relating to the land, whether it's building the cabin or doing some things in our stand. Instagram stories. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.